Good morning, you guys. It is a beautiful day. It's not raining, so it's beautiful. <laughs> we are heading to the old town. Um, I just figured we'd go see somewhere else, try to figure out the bus system. Um, and we're just across the street. The hotel said the bus passes every 30 minutes, and I think I see it down there. We came out just in time, like five minutes ago, so we've just been waiting five minutes for it. And it seemed like it's literally on time. So we're gonna go check it out, take you around today, see what the rest of the city looks like, how to get around in the bus. Um, the local bus, instead of paying so much in taxi fares, because the taxi would be like 400 baht to get over there. And the bus is like 50 baht for each. So I'll let you know exactly how it goes. I saw this market uh, yesterday and I'm saying we should go there because this is the fresh food market. And since we're in the bus, I'm seeing it up close better. This looks really good. Okay, so we definitely have to check this out probably tomorrow because I think we're going to be tired today. We are in Phuket town. It is so cool, so cute down here. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna tell you the story of uh, um, a person we met and just had coffee with. Yeah, it was, it was just amazing. It is such an amazing day. So we are just gonna go across and walk down this main street here and just check it out. How super cute is this, you guys? Oh my god. And I this I guess I have looked down here, but this is this must be the photo spot. So yeah, I'm gonna get me pictures right here. So yeah. Like I said, this is the Instagram picture area. Look at this. This is so funny, but it is so pretty. Look all the way down there. So I'm trying to see which temple this is. I'm not sure, but I'm not dressed for temple, so I can't go in here. So we're just walking a little bit more and just checking it out. It's so beautiful, like so colorful, so historic. I just love it. This is beautiful. Green Head Clinic. That is the funniest name ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. So just walking. Looking down all these other streets. I'm loving it down here. I would definitely stay in downtown. But maybe I want the beach. But it's not too far of a drive, I guess. So yeah, if you do ride bikes and scooters, I would say, you know, you can pretty much stay anywhere because it's easy to get around. But if you're taking taxis and buses, it's a little bit harder, but not crazy especially now that we figured out the bus which I told you a little bit about but I'll definitely go over once I sit down and tell you all about the happenings of today it 
it is so hot you guys look at me this is crazy it is extremely hot <laughs> and humid and i'm sweating and i'm dying oh my god but yeah once again i'm gonna say it. i am in love we got joel him some ice cream because he wanted a treat for taking my pictures you know my struggle is real my kids mm. oh look at this so cute Ah. <laughs> okay so we're gonna walk go back to where the bus stops see if we can catch one to go back to kata and i'll give you all the info Okay, so we're back home, um, resting. That was such a great, amazing day. So tired, Gerald was sleeping on the bus coming back. <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna, we're gonna eat. Um, went into 7-Eleven, grab some food, don't judge us. But it, their food is, is pretty good, it's, it's bomb. So we're gonna eat and then I think I'm gonna dip in the pool. Then we're gonna shower and i think i'm gonna take a nap it's after three but i'm gonna take a nap okay this is the life because i'm so tired um okay so the bus if you are on this side you're on the beach side it is so simple to get the bus and i would recommend the, the bus to you and i know of course as things open up again things are going to change but for now it's the easiest and the best thing to do because like I said, a taxi would have cost like 400 baht to get over to uh, Phuket town from Kata. And, you know, probably the same or more from Patang because you're, you know, up there. So they're probably going to charge you even more in a taxi. But the bus, the public bus is 40 baht each. So I paid 80 baht to get all the way to the town. And it was like a, what was it like? Maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I'm not even sure. It wasn't long though because the scenery was beautiful. I was telling Jarrell, I felt like I was driving through Montego Bay, got into Kingston. Like I was just looking at the different uh, sections. Like everywhere is, is the same city, but every little corner is just so unique and has its own little, you know, thing going. So the bus, um, it runs every 30 minutes or so from this area, from Qatar, from the beach area. So you want to go on the side away from Patang, away from the airport. So that's, I don't know, east, west, north, south, you guys look, okay? So if you're trying to go to the town, go on the opposite side. So you're not going to take a bus that's going to Patang or going to the airport. You're going to go the other way. That's what we did. And within a couple of minutes, the bus came. I kind of just flagged it down. It beeped and I'm like, yeah, flagged it down again. So he knows, yes, we want the bus. He stopped, pick, up, pick us up. And he did that for like two more people. Um, so the bus wasn't full at all. It was comfortable. And then we got to the uh, old town. They let us off. And then as soon as we're coming off, there was someone there just saying, the 7-Eleven is right there. Make sure, say, make sure you go there to go back. So we knew where to take the bus to get back to um, Qatar. So when we were on the bus, I we were we started talking to this Australian and for some Aussies have been so amazing. Like I was telling you, Dean that we did the swim with in Chiang Mai, he was Aussie too, and he's just an amazing guy. So we met him and we're just talking. He's in Kata also, but he was somewhere else. And his partner was doing a spa day, so he was going to meet her down there in the old town. So we were talking and doing all that. Um, and then when we got off, he had a bigger bill. So, you know, you always want to try to have smarter bills. I've done it a million times and been stuck. <laughs> so I, you know, I offered to pay because, you know, part of the whatever he had, he was missing because it's nothing. So he was so thankful. He's like, okay, I owe you coffee. What are you doing? You know, I'm like, we're just down here doing whatever. So we just went to coffee in this cute little place. I think I got some clips. I'll just insert it. And... We just talked and talked about just him and his partner, what they're doing, life, you know, how we're going around, whatever. It was a beautiful, you know, time just talking, sipping on coffee. And he just showed us some places, things to do, things to check out. And it was funny because he's, like I said, he's in the same area like that we are. But he just drive, take the bus because 
discovered the bus just like I discovered the bus today. So I'm not mad anymore at being in Kata because now I have the 40 baht bus. <laughs> Can take us anywhere, which is amazing. So being in this area, I'm fine with now. Um, yeah, so after we were done, we just walked around, checked out the area. It's beautiful down there. I completely love it. And then that we he did share with me the timetable for the bus. It's a different timetable now because of the Rona and things are, you know, whatever. So it's a little bit um, changed, but yeah, not too much. So you can see like every hour when they're leaving, I'll just put it up right here somewhere. So you can kind of see it. And it so happens that we were on the same bus coming back again at the same time because that was the next bus. And we got to talking again and, you know, getting to know each other and all that. And then, um, yeah, he came off a little bit before we did. So we're literally in walking distance from each other. And um, so his partner is still getting, you know, her whole stuff done, a spa day. I'm like, yeah, I need a spa day. <laughs> but that's literally how to get around the, um, the area by taking the blue bus. It's amazing. 40 baht, you guys. That's crazy and can get pretty much anywhere. And like I said, they have different buses. So you just have to figure out the schedule and which bus goes where. Like when we went down to the 7-Eleven, when we went down to the 7-Eleven, there were a couple buses parked and each had like the name on it. So you had one that said Central Phuket, uh, the Temple in like just different places. There was one going to Patang itself. And then, so I guess it goes the other way and goes to some other places because it's when i checked they're like no this one doesn't go to Qatar. it just does patang and up that side so yeah they're they're marked the one that i went on it did say kata quran um and all that so definitely utilize the public bus it is not horrible it was a beautiful ride it's the scenery was amazing we had a good day we had a good day i feel really good okay so I'm going to eat my food before it gets cold, and then I'm going to take a dip in the pool that we've been... <laughs> That's what he's doing. <laughs> We're going to take a dip in the pool and then shower, and I promise I'm going to take a nap because I'm old. All right, you guys, as usual, question and comments, go ahead and leave them below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our adventures, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.